All right, I'm going to get right to the point. I'm going to do this as quick as I can. I know a lot of people are uh, leaving comments. Why don't you just get to the point? And I am going to get to the point right now. 6.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is January the 14th, 2014. Good evening, everyone. I uploaded this video earlier today titled Exposed Ball of Energy Approaching Earth, question mark, a VP Earthwatch. Now, I have a viewer that left a comment in this video that is concerned about some information from another video from the Dynamic Duo, but this time Paul Begley, uh, they are concerned that, about this half a mile wide asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Now, since I have received numerous emails and personal messages in my inbox asking if I will do a video on the truth of this half a mile wide asteroid heading toward Earth. Now, earlier today, Paul Begley uploaded this video right here, and the video is titled Prophecy Alert, Meteor Strike Imminent, NASA. So, and as you can see here, he's got NASA reporting that an asteroid a half a mile wide is headed toward the Earth. And in this video, he is touting information from various websites, uh, an alarming uh, situation that the Earth is in imminent danger from a half a mile wide asteroid that is heading right in the direction of Earth. Now he's put some links to the news articles, but they don't go directly to the article. It's almost like he doesn't want you to uh, actually find the article. I had to work at this. Let me tell you, I had to work at this to find the actual article that he had put a link to. Like, for instance, um, let me find it. Let me go to the show more section. This one here, when I click on this link, it says, oops, Google Chrome could not find your, your uh, website. That was a dead link. So I clicked on this one that he has listed from Time, Science, and Space. I can't find anything about a half a mile wide asteroid headed in the direction of Earth. We've got officials don't really know how dangerous the chemical spilled in West Virginia is. Earth, wind, and fire. Extreme weather, 20 breathtaking images of the Earth as seen from space. The year's most beautiful photos from space. And 45-year-old footprints and more from space. Lions are almost extinct in West Africa. And I'm looking at the sidebar and I can't find anything on this half a mile wide asteroid uh, heading towards Earth. Now, uh, what he does, he doesn't link the actual article. He links the website uh, knowing you're not going to, it's going to take you a while to find, if you're going to take time, it's going to take you some time to find uh, the, the actual article. So I go to WorldNet Daily now, I use WorldNet Daily quite a lot with my reporting, and it took me a while to find it. But I found it, and here it is, America's warned of imminent deadly meteor strike. Now, he is quoting from this article in his video, I'm trying to do this quickly, uh, regarding this half a mile wide asteroid headed on a collision course with Earth. Death and doom and destruction. And a lot of people are worried. Now, let me read this to you. With NASA reporting a potentially hazardous asteroid nearly half a mile wide, possibly heading toward Earth, that's all it says. Then it goes on to, and some uh, upstate New Yorkers claiming they experienced a loud boom and a bright light in the sky last night caused by a meteor. Uh, and it goes on to talk about, that's all they talk about. A NASA reporting a potentially hazardous asteroid nearly half a mile wide. So he's correct there. This article is not about that half a mile wide asteroid. They're talking about like back in the 1950s when people would, uh, they would have the drills and you'd have to go, you hear the siren, you'd have to go to the fallout shelter, you'd have to duck and cover. Talking about that in the future if there are meteors or asteroids. Talking here about uh, people sighting uh, fireballs in the skies or reporting a meteor and a loud boom. Well, we had that in 2013. We've had it in 2012. I've reported on one. I actually seen a green glowing fireball huge across the skies of Michigan. I was at work 
at night and when I got home it was already on the news and it's this has been going on for a long time but he will not link the actual article that makes it very difficult now what I did find and it took me some doing let me go back a little bit it's right here it's from we just looked at this we couldn't find it because he didn't link it to the article it took me some time to find the actual article it's from time science uh what is it time science and space now this is what he was reading from in his video scaring the daylights out of everyone let me read this to you but he doesn't read the entire article he doesn't link directly to this or you would know that there's nothing to worry about a NASA spacecraft has spotted a potentially hazardous asteroid nearly half a mile wide barreling in the general direction of Earth. He read that to you correctly. Now he continues on to bring the actual story. I mean, we'll make sure you can't find it, but the asteroid named 2013YP139 is very dark, 0 0.4 miles across, and could come almost as close to the Earth as our moon based on current projections. The rock has earned NASA's potentially hazardous dis uh, distinction due to its size and projected flight path. And that's where he stops. But you don't have the article like I have up here. I like to use screencast and medic So you know I'm not twisting the story. I'm bringing you the entire story. And you have the link. When you click on my links, you're going right to the story. Not to the website. You're going to the article. Now here's what he doesn't bring you. Where does he want, doesn't want you to know because fear sells. That's a good uh, payday when you can promote fear. Here's what he didn't read you. But there's no need to call Bruce Willis and the rest of the team from Armageddon just yet. The asteroid is still 27 million miles away from Earth and won't get here for another 100 years at least. That's what he kind of forgot to mention. And doing more digging and more researching today, we're not going to be here in 100 years from now, but in the future with technology that we have today, if the Earth is still here in the future, um, uh, they already have the capability of taking care of a, an asteroid that size today. Look at the advancement in 100 years. It's all hope. It's all a hoax. It's all to promote fear. And the agenda is, in the long run, is a... Uh, a payday. What worries me, I want to talk about the boy that cried wolf, just for a moment. I want to talk about the story of the boys now that cried wolf. People are starting to now not, no longer follow like VP Earthwatch. They're, they're starting to not believe because of all these stories are being debunked. What will happen if a real event did take place and they come out First of all, I don't think they're going to report on a real event. They would probably have to run and hide somewhere out of fear themselves. But who's going to believe if there really was a real event to take place? I'm going to bring you the truth. You're not going to follow me. You don't like me because I bring the truth. So if I tell you this is a real event, you're no longer, a lot of people are not putting their trust in these guys any longer because they bring all this bogus, false, gloom and doom. Leave me comments, everyone. Nothing to fear. 100 years from now, and then at its closest, it's still going to be so far away. It's not going to hit Earth anyway if we lived another 100 years. No fear.